Not only is Replay AV an amazing recorder for recording radio stations, radio shows, and podcasts, but it includes the full version of Replay Converter, which means that it can convert whatever you record to over 37 different formats, and it does it really easily. One thing you'll notice when you install Replay AV is that you will get the Replay Converter icon on your desktop too. That's what it, oh, that's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and what you can do is when you set up to record something, you can automatically convert it at the same time. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to record a video. So what I want to do then is open the recording wizard, record something right now, capture a video clip. Now YouTube streams all their videos in the FLV format, flash video format, and that format doesn't um, isn't portable. In other words, you can't put it on a iPod or another kind of video player. You can't burn it onto a DVD. You have to convert the FLV format to another format in order to take it with you. So um, I'm going to set it up to record uh, this YouTube video, and I'm going to record a Miley Cyrus video called Seven Things. So I'm going to click on it. As soon as it starts to play, uh, the URL for the video will appear in our stream capture window, and I know from experience that the, the one I want is the one that has the zero at the end. I've actually already played it once, which is why it shows up twice. So I click the this one. I click Add Selection as New Recording. I type in Miley Cyrus, seven things. And then it tells me what the URL is. And then right here it says, after recording, convert to. And rather than have it say nothing, leave as is, I click the drop down menu and I scroll down to the video format I want. And what I want is to um, convert it to an iPhone format. And the best quality listed here is the one that's 25 frames per second. So I've got that all set. And then I click OK. It's capturing the video now. And I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so it's finished recording, and now you can see that it's converting automatically to iPhone format. Um, it says it right here. And in fact, it did this, oops, it did this, in fact, it, it recorded and converted faster than real time. The video is still playing. I can show you. It's still going on. Um, it's still got about 30 seconds left. Um, but the video, the the video is still going on, but the recording has finished and the converting is now happening. So as soon as it finishes, I will show you what to do. Okay, so you can see that it's finished recording and now it is automatically converting. It recorded the video faster than real time. Um, and now I'm just going to wait for it to convert and when it's finished converting, I will pop back. Okay, so the video is finished. And now all I need to do to play it is left click on it. I can go down to view shows, which takes me to the folder that includes the original FLV and the um, new iPod or rather iPhone format. And I can just click on that. It'll bring up my VLC player. I can skip through this part. We share it was awesome, but we lost it. It's not part and there it is. Or um, I can also, let me click out of this, I can also just left click on it and go to play last recording. So the, the recording is finished. Um, here it is, and I can tell it's done. Uh, so in order to play it, you can left click on it and go to play last recording or go down to view shows. It'll take you to the folder and you'll see now where both the original FLV is and the um, converted iPhone format is. I can just double click on either one of those. This brings up my um, VLC player, which um, plays my iPhone format, and here's the video. One, two, three, four. Shot. 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 
and that's all that you have to do. So um, I've got my uh, video recorded and now converted so I can put it on my iPhone and watch it whenever I want. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Check it out. Bye.